Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about the element Oganesson. So we're going to talk about its properties, where it was created, because this element was so radioactive that it was not found in nature, so it had to be created. And this is an element named after an individual that at this time, Saturday, January 20, 2022, is still alive at the date of this recording. So nearly a millisecond after the creation of Oganesson, the nucleus decays into another transuranium element, Livermorium, by emitting an alpha particle, helium nucleus. So no physical or chemical properties of Oganesian can be directly determined since only a few atoms of Oganesian have been produced. But it is likely that Oganesian is a gas at room temperatures. So Oganesian, symbol is OG, a transuranium element that occupies position 118 in the periodic table and is one of the noble gases. So Oganesian is a synthetic element and in 1999 scientists at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory in Berkeley, California announced the production of atoms of Oganesian as a result of the bombardment of lead 208 with atoms of krypton 86. However, in 2002, this result was retracted after it was discovered that some of the data had been falsified. So here you have some information of Lawrence Berkeley National University and California right here. So in 2006, scientists at the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research at Dubna, Russia, announced that Oganesian had been made in 2002 and 2005 in a cyclotron by the nuclear reaction of calcium-48, seen here, at an energy of 245 million electron volts, with californium-249. Californium-249 is formed from the beta decay of berkelium, and most other californium isotopes are made by subjecting berkelium to intense neutral radiation in a nuclear reactor according to Wikipedia and here we have calcium 48 being bombarded with californium 249 to produce organesium so at an energy of 245 million electron volts MeV with a californium 249 target with three neutrons and one atom of organesium as a reaction products so only one atom of organesium was produced so this is Yuri organesium he's a Russian nuclear physicist Yuri organesium is a Russian Armenian nuclear physicist who is considered the world's leading research in super heavy chemical elements. He led the discovery of these elements in the periodic table according to Wikipedia. He was born April 14, 1933. His current age is 88 as of the recording of this video. And here's Dubna, Russia. Dubna is a town in Moscow, Oblast, Russia. It has a statue of Nuklegrad being home to the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research, an international nuclear physics research center, and one of the largest scientific foundations in the country according to Wikipedia. Here's some information on Dubna, Russia. So the chemistry of organesian like radon is expected to reflect its anticipated metalloid properties. In January 2016, the discovery of element 118 was recognized by the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, or IUPAC. The International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry is an international federation of national adhering organizations that represents chemists in individual countries. It is a member of the International Science Council, according to Wikipedia. It was founded in 1919. And the International Union of Pure and Applied Physics, or IUPAP, seen here, IUPAP. The International Union of Pure and Applied Physics is an international non-governmental organization whose mission is to assist in the worldwide development of physics, to foster international cooperation in physics, and to help the application of physics towards solving problems of concern to humanity. According to Wikipedia, it was founded in 1922. So the discoverers named it Organisian after Russian physicist Yuri Organisian, who led the group at Dubna that discovered it and several other of the heaviest transuranium elements. The name Organisian was approved by IUPAC in November 2016. So that was Organisian explained in five minutes or less. Thank you everyone for watching. That was some brief information on the element. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, thank you everyone for watching. Have a great one.